Rauf Siddiqui asks, can I work 20 hours per week on STEM OPT? Uh, the question is not, can you work for 20 hours per week? The question is, must you work 20 hours per week? And the answer is yes. So OPT and STEM OPT is optional practical training for um, F1 students. And so um, the OPT, optional practical training, it's um, a, a temporary employment authorization that allows students to get practical work experience that's directly related to their major area of study. And there's two types. There's pre-completion OPT, which you do uh, while you're still a student. And then there's post-completion OPT, which is what you do after you graduate. And so um, the, the pre-completion while you're a student, you can only work 20 hours per week. And that makes sense because while you're still a student, um, you should be focusing on your academic work and, but you can also get this practical training, but you can't work full time. But during vacations, um, like winter holidays, spring break, that kind of thing, you can work full time. Um, there's, there's actually not a max to the amount of hours you could work in a week, but in America, full time is generally 40 hours a week. Um, now on post completion OPT, after you graduate, you can work, uh, an unlimited number of hours, right? Up to full time, uh, generally 40 hours. Right. Um, and so that means that you can have that full-time job after you graduate. The, um, the, the OPT period, the post completion OPT period is 12 months. If you have a, a STEM degree, um, if you're in a, a science, technology, uh, engineering, or math field, then you get a longer period of time. You get a STEM OPT extension of 24 months, which turns that post completion OPT from 12 months to 36 months. Um, the same rules apply that if you're a, a STEM student, while you're a student, you can only work 20 hours. When you're in that post-completion STEM OPT, you've graduated and you're working a job, you can work as many hours as you want up to, um, you know, most jobs will be up to 40, right? But there's, but there's, there's no limit in the laws to the number of hours you can work. Um, However, the minimum is 20. So let's say that you STEM OPT, you graduate and you have two jobs. So for each employer, you have to work a minimum of 20 hours. If you have three jobs, you'd have to work a minimum of 20 hour for each employer. That would add up to 60 hours. I imagine that would be difficult, but you still could do it. Um, the, can you, um, work remotely? The answer is yes. So long as for the STEM OPT, um, your employer still has to be able to uh, provide the training outlined in the I-983 training plan. So as long as they can do that, yes, you can work remotely. Um, can you work for multiple employers? Yes. Right. Um, a key difference between OPT and STEM OPT is um, in, in the post-completion when you're working for someone. For OPT, the employment has to be a directly related to your major area of study. For STEM OPT, it's even more narrow. It has to be, um, you have to be able to apply and develop the skills you learned in your STEM program. So for OPT, you know, maybe you have a communications degree and you work in marketing, right? And that could be directly related to your area of study, right? But for STEM OPT, if you have a degree in computer science, then the position that you have on STEM OPT, you have to be applying and developing the skills you learn from your degree. So it has to be, you have to be applying and developing the skills you learned in your computer science degree. Anyway, uh, long story short, um, can you work for 20 hours? Uh, yeah, you have to be working for 20 hours. Um, Good luck. All right. If anyone else has any more questions, uh, post them in the comments um, and Lauren and I will get to them.